All right, folks, welcome to the Ultimate Cleveland Sports Show. Along with Mikey McNuggets and G. Bush, I'm out of the bowl, and we have breaking news right off the bat. This is a blockbuster trade in the NFL. does not involve wow. the Browns, but it involves one of their competitors. According to Adam Schefter just moments ago, the Bills are finalizing a trade to send four-time Pro Bowl wide receiver Stephon Diggs to the Houston Texans for draft pick compensation. This is a huge move. Obviously for the Texans. So their their offense now: C.J. Stroud, yeah. Joe Mixon, Stephon Diggs, Nico Collins, Tank Dell, and Dalton Schultz. Yeah, that's a they, plethora of weapons. They Holy have the crap. best. They now have. If this trade goes through now, uh, Stephon, I got I got the pick compensation real quick. Go ahead. It's got to be a first round pick. No. Bills receive a 2025 second round pick. Okay. Via Minnesota. The Texans receive Diggs, a 2024 sixth round pick, and a 2025 fourth round pick. And the Bills only get a second round pick. In second 25. round pick. So they really wanted to get him up out of there. Yeah. Now, financial, I will say this. Big, big financial stuff. Diggs there. at the second half of last year showed signs that maybe he was going off the cliff. So we don't know. But on paper right now, the Texans now have the best wide receiving core in football. Yeah. And Tank Dell coming back. He was having an incredible rookie season. Yeah. Oh, really? We've ta- yeah. Yeah. We've talked. I mean, you, 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 Nico Collins, Dell, and so. Diggs. Now, if Diggs goes off the cliff, then no. But I already thought they had a really good underrated wide receiving core. Wow, that's saying a lot. I mean, especially given the fact that you know what the Bengals got. I mean, I, but they don't have Boyd right now, and then I mean, well, Boyd T, doesn't matter. He's T, T Higgins and Chase is tough. Yeah, I I, I, I like if that. Diggs is still anywhere close to the player he was. If Diggs is not Diggs, then okay, then they're they're not number one. I, I will, yeah. But if Diggs is anywhere close to still being what he was, they have the best because Nico Collins had a monster breakout year yeah. and Tank Dell was on his way to a, yeah. you know one of the great rookie seasons of all time. Yeah, they've upgraded. So, and you you combine that with one of the the best rookie quarterback we've maybe ever seen. Now he's got to prove it for more than <clears> one year, but as a rookie he played well, I think better than any quarterback I've yeah. ever seen. And Dalton, maybe Schultz, Marino, I don't know. Schultz is a good Schultz tight end. Schultz is a solid tight end. Joe Mixon is an upgrade solid running, running back. Game. Their offensive line still Larry shaky, but yeah. they still have Tunsil. But, Texans uh, are legit. A, and, and for the Bills, what do they have at wide receiver now? They signed Curtis Samuel. I mean, he's their number one guy. I'm, I'm, I'm willing. I'm willing. There's just they're, this, dra- they're have to draft somebody now. This yeah. move to me, uh, if I was jo- Josh Allen, probably had to sign off on it. But man, I, I just since they made that, since they made that, uh, you know, comeback, or since the Chiefs made that comeback in Arrowhead a couple years ago when it was that great shootout. Um, I think they've taken a step back. Yeah, I mean, I still like the Bills because I think Josh Allen is, is Good great. by himself. But, I, he, you know, he's got worse wide receiver talent now than the Chiefs do. Yeah. yeah. And when you look at the big picture of the Bills, they made a bunch of moves this offseason to shed salary cap. Yeah. They, yeah. they ended up re-signing Deion Dawkins, but they lost their center. They lost their Davius White. They've lost Stephon Diggs now. You look at Houston, on the other hand, in the similar situation in Chicago where they're stockpiling older assets on high contracts. That's the bounce you get with a rookie quarterback on a rookie contract versus paying Josh yeah. Allen or Patrick Mahomes or Joe Burrow or right. Deshaun Watson. That tier money is when you're on a rookie contract, you have all yeah. that money to spread elsewhere. So and, and it's I'm a damn not, good roster now. I'm not going to be a hypocrite because people said this about Jerry Judy. Oh, you know, he has some issues, some off the field stuff. How do you, you know, good riddance, that guy can go to you. You know, you guys have enough headaches. Um, but when you look at uh, Stefan Diggs, he's going to want to football. And are you worried about – is winning the football with a guy like, you know, uh, you know, C.J. Stroud. I mean, sure, that, that, that's a factor in the end. But unlike Jerry Judy, he's actually put up – Yeah, you know, he's, he's had a great career. He's had a great yeah. career. I mean, he's put up huge numbers. Jerry Judy is, is all, some off-the-field stuff, and he hasn't done it yet. So well, We talk about Stephon Diggs had a down year last season. Yeah, he still had – Still had 1,066 yards, yeah, which right. would be a career high for Judy. So. The, now, right. I don't know if it's apples to apples, but I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah it's like – Yeah, it's, I mean, that might be an issue. They, he can be a pain in the neck a little bit. Yeah, like, Diggs. there's, you know, we see it on the sidelines. and Even when he was getting the ball a lot, we would be like – He still complains. Why is he mad? Uh, yeah, mad. it is weird. <laughs> uh, I think – why can't I think of the Texans coach all, all of a sudden? What's D'Amico Ryan. D'Amico Ryan. D'Amico Ryan is not putting up with that stuff. I no. just retired from playing not that long ago. He's not yeah. putting up with that nonsense. And, and there's so, other and there's other mouths to feed, like you yeah. said, Tank Dell and, and Nico Collins. Those yeah. dudes is, is homegrown. I mean, they they are a, uh, a well balanced. Yeah. Now listen again, 
Diggs and Mixon could both go off the cliff this year, and, and it's not as good as we think. And Stroud may not replicate that tremendous. But that's the worst case scenario. If I'm a Texans fan right now, like I'm thrilled. Hey, by the way, if I, listen, I say nothing. Shout out to to the big homie out there, man. I'm not saying nothing. Shout out to all I ain't, the Texans is good with me. Y'all got to play somebody else. I don't want no problem. Cecil, hey, listen, hey, Jonathan Wells, hey, hey, yeah. have a good year. We'll that, come on and bring you on. Be college. It's loaded. I mean, yeah. offensively, and, and you look at the complementary styles of their receivers. So you have Tank Dell, little undersized, but blazing speed. Yeah. Stephon Diggs, a route running tactician, and Nico Collins, 6'4", 220. Right. And they got threat. mixing. And mix it. And you have C.J. Stroud. And again, who, their tight end's like a decent player. He's yeah. not great, but he's like a solid tight end. I'm going on a limb. This is the greatest era. This is the greatest offensive era I've ever seen in AFC, bar none. These teams is loaded. These. This is the. I know we live in, in recency bias. Like right now, like yeah. people think, oh, it's really bad out here in the, in the streets. You know, we're, we're as divided as we ever been. No, we're not. They used to burn people at the stake at once upon a time. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'd rather live right now. <laughs> but right now, when it comes to the NFL, yeah. Look at the AFC, bro. Look at it's it. It's loaded. Look at it. By the way, the Bills wide receiving core right now, Curtis Samuel, Khalil Shakir, and Mac Collins. Those are their top three wide receivers. So they're going to draft someone in the first round, Obviously, which that actually yeah. could affect the Browns now in the draft. That's another team who we didn't circle as a potential wide receiver drafting team. I think the Bills have to go wide receiver in round one now. They might need to get a receiver. They might need to get a UFL player. They might need <laughs> They might need to go D2 uh, uh, supplemental draft because I don't – they do it, the two tight ends, but yeah, I like I and I actually liked them a little bit. But here's the thing: what are, if you Josh Allen, what are you thinking? He had to have signed. He had to have signed off. I mean, it. yeah, I don't know. I, if, if I'm Josh Allen, I'm frustrated. He he's yeah. got a they got a nice tight end who was a rookie. Kincaid, two, Kincaid and Dawson Knox. Yeah, yeah but Dawson Knox is kind of just a guy. He's all right, but Kincaid's a guy with a lot of upside. Could it probably end up being a top five tight end in the he, next decade? It, but uh, he's got – they got to upgrade. Now, maybe they'll hit in the draft and they get their new number one wide receiver. I don't know. And maybe they think Diggs is going over the cliff. You know, they know now, him. I don't know. Now, look, Stephon Diggs, to me, like, I, I need you – I always say, what are you great at? So, are you a, you are you physically – can you go up at high point to football? It's not really his game. Is he going to really run past you? No, nah, that's not really his game. Um, is he like a dude that's going to be like physical and is a red zone target? Not really. He's like a he's a he's a Mari Cooper He's he's a Jarvis. He's a he's a higher version of Jarvis Landry. But he he's had a much better career. Yes, but but same same type of build demeanor. He's not a burner, but I, he's a, he's a better player than Jarvis Landry. He's shifty. He's he, one of those he, guys that just gets yeah. open. He now, gets open. His, he's had the uh, actually last year. Mike, he had 1,183 yards. Okay. Oh, okay. so way better than I even thought. Yeah, yeah. He's okay. had over 1,100 yards five years in a row. Okay. He's had uh, at, at least 100 catches four, of the, four years in a row. Last year, he had eight touchdowns. He's at least had eight touchdowns uh, six of the last seven years. The only year he didn't, he had six. So... I mean, he's, been, he's been tremendously productive. Yeah. He's, he's been a top 10 receiver in the NFL so for the last age, better part of a decade. He'll turn 31 at the end of the year. So he still should be good. I mean, I, I, I like this a lot for the Texans. Yeah, I, I do too. Yeah. Um, and, and you know, maybe I think this has a lot to do with, I actually think if you ask me, I think they think he's, he's going to go off the cliff because his production yeah, is there. It's not like he's that big of a headache off the field where it's like, yo, that we know of. Give, that we know of. Yeah, but he could be a pain in the neck in the locker room a little bit. But yeah, you know, he's had good production. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm for him. I don't know why he wanted to get out. You're getting 108 catches a year. I mean, he was unhappy in Minnesota playing with a really good quarterback in Cousins. He's playing with the second, the second best, or third best yeah. quarterback in the, in the league, league, Josh Allen. And I don't know. He's playing with another great quarterback. For from Houston's standpoint, yeah, I I love this because they traded a second round pick in 2025. So it's not even this year's second round pick; it's uh, next year's second round pick, uh, and it's from uh, Minnesota. But you're not getting a Stephon Diggs at this stage of his career in the second round. I don't. No like matter who you draft, yeah, it's not going to be yeah, that right. caliber of receiver right off the bat. And while you have C.J. Stroud on this rookie contract, you have to take advantage of the years where his cap hit is so much lower than it will be in five, six years when he's getting paid like the top tier quarterbacks in football. So when you have a guy under that contract structure and you have the money to spend elsewhere, yeah. you have to be aggressive and maximize those opportunities. And, I'm, and, gee, you mentioned Operation Stockpile. 
when you have the opportunity to stockpile talent across the mm. board because your quarterback's making two million, three million, whatever the it's not that low, but whatever it is, there's, yeah, there's you very have to take downside. advantage of it. There's yeah, very you. little downside to, to this for the Texans. The second round pick is no big deal. They got all these extra picks from the Deshaun Watson trade. I mean, usually you trade a player like Deshaun Watson, it's a disaster for your franchise. It's been, we'll see what it ends up being long term for the Browns. That's still to be determined. For the Texans, it's, it's been, great. Uh, I mean, they, everything's gone their way. Now they got lucky that Bryce Young, that the Panthers blew it and took Bryce Young last year. Otherwise, it wouldn't be nearly as good as it is right, now. Right, right, But you got to get a little luck sometimes. They did. The Panthers blew it. They got the, this guy who might be the next great quarterback. If he does it again this year, we're putting him, locking him into the top five. And and there you go. And uh, it was this is a great trade, and the what Texans you, are a great trade. Where do you put them now? I, you know, we talked about it before. We always got the Chiefs at the top. We talk about that. The Bengals in that mix. All the great teams in the I, NFC I, North. Where do you put honestly, the Texans? I, put them, I, I think I put them third. Behind Kansas City and... I might even put him second. I don't know. I, I really need to see CJ Stroud do it again. I, you know, but to and be their fair, defense. They lost Grenard. They lost Cashman on defense. I know they replaced him with uh, Hunter, and they, they signed someone else for defensive tackle. Uh, who they signed the defensive I don't tackle remember. spot? But either way, it's a hell of a move for the Texans. They're, they're right. They they're were right really in good the last year. They're improved. They're in a they're in a division that's not you know great. okay, but it's not as good as the AFC North. Well, Anderson still got Stingley. Yeah, uh, on defense. They're a good team, man. They, Yo, they start, yeah. got approval yeah. out there. They're, they're a talented team. They're right okay, there. they, can, this, win, they this, can win the Super Bowl. Hey, hey this no is doubt. one of the moves that you you know one of your dudes, one of the rivals you got that go to school, man. Y'all, all the girls like y'all too. It's between you and him, and you go to school and you see his outfit. Yeah, and you'd be like, oh, okay, you want to got them Jays? Okay. So what's the what's the <laughs> counter punch? Yeah, I see. Well, you, one you of the, come with something. Another one of the Browns, you know, the Bills got weaker, so yeah, at least another help. one of the Rivals right. did. But I know you guys were a little further down on the Bills than I was. Obviously, I'm now more down on them, too. I, I had them in the three spot, and now I'm obviously taking them out after this yeah. move. So, anyway.